you're one of 25 million people in a conversation in a community that cares about Coke and that likes Coke, and we're probably the most active member of that community, and we want to share and we want to interact, but we don't see that as owning it. We see this as being part of a community, and I think that's really an important um, insight into how to think about pages. So what I want to do for the next few minutes is just share, share with you a couple of other examples that I think speak to the power, not just of advertising on Facebook, although that's a part of it, but of, mar of Facebook as a marketing platform and the opportunities that it presents to brands to do some pretty interesting things around building connections and ultimately driving business, which is what it's all about at the end of the day. So American Express, um, the charge card, the credit card company that I'm sure most of you are familiar with, did something interesting in the US late last year. They have a product called American Express Open that is a small business, an SME card, um, and they have over four million SME customers in the US. And so what they did is they said, look, you know, particularly around the holiday shopping in the US where lots of people go to what we call big box retailers, the giant stores, the Home Depots, the Walmarts, the Targets of the world, they said, we want to try to bring attention to our SME customers. So they started a campaign and they said, we're going to take uh, a day in late November and label it Small Business Saturday and encourage people to actually go to their local small business and do some of their holiday shopping there at these small businesses. And so what they did is they invested some real marketing dollars. They ran TV ads. They ran print ads, newspaper, and other places. They ran ads online, and of course, they ran ads on Facebook as well. But importantly, they drove all, all of those ads. The TV ads referred people to go, to go to Facebook. The print ads sent people to Facebook because what they realized for the first time for them was that they could really build a community. And in a matter of three weeks, this entire cam campaign from start till actually Small Business Saturday came together in three weeks. They built connections with 1.2 million people over those three weeks on Facebook. They got 100,000 business, small businesses to download uh, marketing information, give it out. They gave cardholders, American Express cardholders, $25 back if they shopped at one of these small participating small businesses. And for them, they saw a 27% increase in uh, actual volume in their business as a result of this. So at the end of the day, uh, a lot of good results for them. And importantly, you can see they're now actually close to about one and a half million connections because this continues to grow because they continue to care about small businesses and there's lots of people out there who continue to care about small businesses. And what American Express is doing with its brand is it is putting itself at the center of this community and it's not that it controls all of the dialogue or all the things that happen on its page. People connect to one another, but they're doing it with the association all around American Express, and that's really powerful for them. You know, and if you think about that, about that fact of building your brand around people, and not necessarily it's you marketing to all of these people, but people marketing to one another, this is what we do, and this is ultimately what we want as marketers, right? We want someone to buy our product, and then rather us, us to have to go out and acquire another customer, we want them to go and tell their friends how great their experience has been and get them to go buy it. And this happens naturally on Facebook every day because when we like a brand, it's shared with all of our friends. The average person on Facebook has over 130 friends. And this is when you take an action like this and you like something uh, or you post about how great your vacation was or whatever it might be or your flight, it gets shared into your newsfeed and it gets shared with all of your friends. You know, another example, Tata Indicom has built up over or nearly 300,000 connections on Facebook. And obviously, that's terrific. Those fans are people that they can communicate with. But it's more than just those connections. And it's even it's more than just putting those people and the fact that they can uh, talk to one another and help market Tata Indicom. It's actually about more than the 300,000 people. It's about their friends too. Because what happens on Facebook is then when, they, when Tata Indicom runs an ad, I, if I don't like them, but one of my friends does, if Kurthaga does, then in that ad, I'm going to see Tata Indicom, but I'm also going to see that my friend Kurthaga likes them. And what, we, what we've discovered through research that Nielsen has done is that the difference between a little ad just with a friend's name in it versus not having a friend's name in it changes things in a really fundamental and profound way. Six, you're 68% more likely to recall having seen the ad, 2x in terms of message recall of that ad, 
and 4x in terms of purchase intent. So what this really means is it talks, you know, the point of having likes and fans, those connections is that you can communicate and it's a great marketing channel, but it also boosts all of your marketing dollars beyond that. It makes your marketing that much more effective. This is effectively um, word of mouth marketing. As marketers, we've always wanted those connections and those referrals to happen and that the people who buy our products to ultimately to become our marketers. And so on Facebook, you can do that word of mouth marketing and you can do it at a scale that has never been possible before. Because with well over 500 million people on Facebook, over half of whom log on to Facebook every day, so over 250 million people every day, and while we never share your name or your personal information with marketers, we do enable marketers to target the people that they want to reach. So if you want to reach people under the age of 35 in India or in Delhi or in Bangalore or all English speakers around the world, whatever you want to target or people with certain interests, people who are interested in cricket, people who are interested in sport, people who are interested in travel, we enable you to, to target and you actually get, unlike other mediums where you can pick certain places, you know, certain billboards, certain TV shows where you know you'll get a high percentage of your target audience, you can get your message exactly in front of that audience that you want to reach. And of course, a lot of marketing is about trying to build emotional connections too. And that's something that, just like any other form of creative, any other form of marketing, when you bring great creative, great things can happen. So I don't know how many people, when we think about not the Cricket World Cup, but the actual soccer or football World Cup last year, how many people were familiar with Nike's Write the Future campaign? So a relatively small handful of people. What they did is they, they built a big campaign around the World Cup that they called Write the Future. And right before the World Cup started, they actually put together a three-minute video ad featuring six of the leading football players around the world. Really clever video. But you know, three minutes, that's a long time for an advertisement. And they distributed it on Facebook across 20 different markets through an ad. And what they saw was incredible results. Now, it helped that they had great creative, but they got 2.5 billion ad views, 6.4 million video plays, and they built 3 million likes. And they used those over the course of the World Cup and beyond to then communicate, to interact with people. And what they saw is the viral nature is once you start, then it goes into other people's news feeds and you get this once even long after the advertising campaign had stopped, the community continued to grow and grow. And interestingly, the Nielsen research showed that unaided awareness, 38% in terms of people remembering the ad, and if you actually, um, and 52% of them knew it was Nike. And what's particularly interesting about this is that Nike wasn't a World Cup sponsor. Adidas was a World Cup sponsor, but Nike really effectively got its message out and used a really creative approach that took advantage of advertising on Facebook as well as Facebook pages as well as publishing into the news feed. What this is is really in sort of the, the way that we talk as marketers, paid, owned, and earned. They used all of that on Facebook to drive this campaign. I want to share with you a couple of other examples, more uh, relevant examples for India around the Cricket World Cup. Uh, Pepsi ran uh, campaigns and got great results uh, working with our partners here at Comely and got a couple of really interesting uh, numbers that I thought is they got through this campaign while they were running it. They had a like on Pepsi every six seconds, action taken every second on those ads. Another example, um, Travel Another India, a nonprofit that's aimed trying to uh, generate more travel and attention about tourism in India. Back in February of this year, ran a marketing campaign. Now you might look at this and say 42,000 people, that's not that big. It's not that big an organization. They started with 500 likes on their page, 500 fans, and after the first day of their marketing campaign, they were up to 30,000 fans, and they subsequently grown to over 42,000. And again, as we just talked about, then it's, it's not great, you have a lot of fans, you win, it's then you start to market with them, you start to communicate, you start to take advantage of their friends, and so on from there. And the final one that I like is Aircell's Air um, Save Our Tigers campaign. How many people are familiar with this? Yeah, great campaign, obviously has a lot of awareness. I think what's interesting about this is, you know, they ran advertising on Facebook. It's been very effective for them. But what's interesting is a million people saw the ads. They put up these videos about these incredible tigers, you know, these graceful, powerful animals. A million people saw those ads. 
But then they actually got three and a half million people saw them, not the ads itself, but as a result of people sharing that video, the fact that people had watched it, the fact that people had shared it. So again, this speaks to the viral nature of it, of what happens when you start to think about marketing uh, socially, about building your brand through these connections, building sustaining and lasting connections, and then actually building effective word of mouth marketing and doing it at scale and doing it at Facebook. And we think this kind of social marketing is really critical for the future. And it's not just an opportunity that businesses can participate in this. We really believe that in terms of where marketing is going and to take advantage of this opportunity, businesses must participate in this. We're really excited to be here at AdTech. We're really excited to be here at India. I'm grateful. Thank you so much uh, for inviting me to be here. Thank you.